city with all the days like wine. Way in Springfield, Illinois, on my way for Halloween again. Four score and seven years ago, my nose sunk into my head. Four score and seven years ago, I lost the bottom half of my body. Reek, 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 reek. You do have the historic barrel steak pan here. <laughs> if you really want that piece of gum back, you can stick it on the outside, pick it up afterwards, make no judgment, just say. This is Lincoln's house. You can tell why they got Lincoln logs. I mean, it's not a log cabin, but it certainly does look similar to one. Now, especially if there's a big party in this room, all these chairs and sofas would have been occupied by friends, work colleagues, and eventually. The closest to touching, taking Leakman's hand, because this was his original, his original handle, and we're allowed to touch it. Nice. important sign that Mrs. Linkwood picked out, and this supposedly cost them about $1,500 back then, which is kind of funny because the house itself they wear back then, lawyer rounds and such, a vacation like casual Friday suit as well, at least we got fun to see his version of. Now you gotta imagine how he fit at that desk first, or uh, at least like from the time period, just not. Yeah, sat that down pretty good. Now before we head downstairs, uh, but in terms of the doors that are close up here, uh, the one behind me is gonna be more like a linen club. Here, the stove itself. It actually is Miss Lincoln's stove there. Now, this would be about as top of the line as you can get. Thank you. Thank you. So basically, we just walked into the This is where Lincoln and Herdon had their law offices before Lincoln went off to become president. He told Herndon if I if and when or when I return one day. I will, we will resume stuff like nothing ever happened. Unfortunately, as you know, Lincoln got assassinated in office, so he was never able to come back and practice law with Herndon. Here's Lincoln's old courthouse where he made many famous speeches. They started making another one within his lifetime, but this was the one that he personally performed in his speeches inside of. Nice. The Lincoln Squad. People rub Lincoln's nose for good luck, so I'm gonna need all the good luck I can get. So it's gonna be both hands for this boy. Maybe had a boy, that was Robert Todd's oldest daughter. Um, then his son, Aaron Lincoln the second, Jack died at 16. Then there was Jessica, she had two. So he had to pay my respects. 
her son. Last stop in Springfield, Illinois. Yep. Is this guy. Giant Lincoln, skinny Lincoln. Nice. Welcome everyone to the largest covered wagon in the world here in Lincoln, Lincoln, Illinois. Just a small, not a small town necessarily, but just a, a mediocre sized town next to Springfield, the birthplace of Lincoln. This town was named after Lincoln while he was still alive when he was just a lawyer. Because I'm pretty sure his brother had some plot line or something like that. But there he is, reading his old law book, asking as he sent many people out west. I was a big sponsor of going west and stuff like that. See, and that's a better view. That's his side. So after driving around for half an hour, we finally found it where Lincoln Christ into the town of Lincoln. And someone someone had asked him in whose honor the town had been named, who did they name the town after he said, Nothing with the name of Lincoln has ever amounted to much, which is fun which is super ironic. But again, this was when he was alive. This is the first town that was named after him when he was alive. Um I mean this is the only town that was named after him while he was alive. And so he just did this quick little christening when he was asked with a, with a watermelon. And I'm, you can pause this and read this, but it's really funny just how he just, with a simple watermelon, just like kind of like, he didn't, he, what I like about this is that he didn't take himself too seriously about, oh, I'm being named after town a whole. He was like, you know, the 20 Christian in town? Okay, I'll do it with the watermelon. So yeah, I think it's a funny story. Look at the DIYness of that. It's pretty cool. Anyways, we're in Atlanta, Illinois. What the heck? With this guy. A muffler boy. So you got this over here. A giant man holding a wiener. A giant man holding a wiener. A giant man holding a wiener. On Route 66. Woo! Chicago. It's cool being in Chicago on the day of Obama's birth. Or other known as Obama's birthday. Yes. This sign means that we have completed Route 66 from California to Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. For me, Route 66, I thought it, it would be like more of like a gargantuan, epic. Uh, you know, journey to end all journeys type thing, and it didn't feel really long, but it, it felt more to me to be more just like a beckoning home to America's original, uh, original way and what they believe. Yeah, I'm gonna kiss. Hey, man, what's up? How many I leave with machine gun? No, that's your mom. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do what your mom said. Yeah. Sorry about that. Anyways, what I was trying to say was it, it's, it's a perfect trip across America because it it shows the American dream. People who came from nothing, something, or people who made it through a struggle. And it, everywhere you go, you meet new people who have a story. And, and that's what's most interesting about this trip was it wasn't like a Disneyland and you go to go ride a roller coaster. It's like you learn about everything. You're interested in even if it's just a covered bridge and stuff like that. It, it was it was a, a, a more personal event, a more personal uh, calling than, and so it felt more like a home. It felt like more like, even though it was 2,000 miles all the way, it feels more like a home, and so that makes it feel much more close and short than it was. And so, with that, I am super glad that we completed this. This is definitely a bucket list check off. What do you feel about this? I feel like, can you zoom out of my face? It is out, it's out all the way. Um, I feel like it was a great experience. Um, Talk about Definitely 100% trip of a lifetime. I don't know if anything can top it, but for sure, I don't know. Like, I'll be doing it again. I hope anytime, anywhere, any place. Route 66 is everywhere. Yeah, mom. What do you say? You gotta say. It was incredible. A lot of great memories. A lot of crazy times. No 
excited. I can't believe we made it. It's surreal. And yeah. we have to drive home. That will be lots of fun. But yeah. Route 66 completed. Here's a view of the rest of Chicago after the end of Route 66. There is a music festival, Lala Palooza, going on. I, I do know some people going to like Felicia and stuff like that. Um, and Momo, but uh, I just think it's funny that we come here the one day where a ton of people are earlier. That's so many people. We're at another Walmart on the outskirts of Chicago. I think we're in a town called like Soki or something like that. Skoki or something. It's really diverse here, which is pretty cool, but that's besides the point of always waiting for it to be four o'clock so we can go take Libby. Maybe five I think. Maybe four, I don't know. So we can take Libby to the airport. Here, so. There's no, there's no sleeping. There's no wamping here, so we gotta stay up. Sure we're gonna do. Oh, my area, yeah. Anyways, yeah. 